was good YouTube, I'm Diablos and I'm back from a long break and yes, I know you're probably wondering why was he gone for so long? Well, that would be because of a police related case as they were falsely accusing me of a cyber criminal offense which I will get more into in another video. But with that said, in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys a software which you can use to sell cryptocurrency anonymously without leaving a single trace. Yes, a single trace or completely hidden. Okay. Well, I present to you guys BISC, a decentralized free and open source cryptocurrency exchange network. Built on top of Bitcoin, BISC is also completely self-locked, meaning when you're using BISC, no information is collected, stored, or captured. All data is transferred over an anonymous P2P network whilst being overlaid through Tor and it's completely decentralized. Users control their own data while selling and trading. And buying. Also, BISC knows nothing about the transactions made or who uses their network. You control your own currency, your own data, even as it is held in a 2-2 multi-signature. Crazy! You don't require any registration at all, so you don't have to worry about your information being in an odd attack of a man-in-the-middle attack. You know, you don't gotta worry about that. But yeah, the best part is, it's that is available for Linux, Windows, and Mac. Freaking crazy, right? I will also be linking in the description their official, web their official website and the source code of BISC. I forgot to mention in the video that all data is not only locally stored on the seller slash trader's device, but it's also encrypted and signed. So, you know, that's a good, that's a good thing. Yeah, it's good. It's encrypted and signed and it's also stored locally on us. So, BISC basically gets no information. They don't know who the hell is using their servers. They don't know nothing. Everything is completely ghosted. Uh, is BISC suitable for ghost hackers? Yes! Yes! I would say yes, because I'm a ghost hacker and I use it. Yes, it is. However, I do recommend ghosting out whenever using BISC, just to top the layer. So, do the usual, you know, ghost out through Tor, I2P, internet, you know, use two overlay networks, three overlay networks, four. Be absolutely ghosted. When you do that, you can be sure that you are absolutely... <laughs> You're, you're way more you're you're way more hidden than hidden. You're just complete you're off the net. You're, you're, you're ghosted. You're completely you're you're ghosted, man. You're ghosted. But yeah, like um when selling through BISC, when you do all these steps, you're completely ghosted and you can obviously uh, expect some good privacy, some good anonymity, and some good security. If you want in another video how to be ghosted before using BISC, if you want me to show you guys how to do that, let me know in the comments. However guys, that's going to wrap it up for the video uh, today. But if you did enjoy, leave a thumbs up on the video. That really helps. And please comment and subscribe. I really love hearing all your feedbacks whenever it's positive or whether it's positive or negative. You know, it just helps me know how you guys feel when you're watching my videos. But yeah guys, it's been your boy Diablos. And I'll... S Wait, hold on. Before I see you in the next video, I also have to mention there will be another video coming up and it's going to be uh, titled or related to uh, gathering information. So this is going to be leaked information. So stay tuned for that. I'm going to be showing you guys how to gather uh, leaked databases, uh, leaked email addresses, leaked passwords for educational purposes, uses only. Okay, but stay tuned for that. But yeah, guys, like I said, it's going to wrap it up for the video. Uh, if you did enjoy the usual, like, comment and subscribe. And yeah, it's been your boy Diablos, and peace.